And Dr. Eby came down off of this off of the stage and 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 proceeded to to minister to an individual down at the end of the line to the right of us. And and as he was praying for him, the man fell on the floor. And I thought, oh goodness, there must be something seriously wrong with this man for him to fall down like that. Uh, but then the thought came, well, he's a medical doctor, so he'll know what to do. He'll take care of this man and help him. Well, to my shock, he just walked away and left the man laying there. So he went to the next person, and I became amazed again because the next person went down on the floor also. And I became a little suspect at this point because the third person went down, and the fourth person went down. And I remember saying, Lord, I don't understand what's going on here, but I know that you told me that I'm going to be healed today. So I want to be healed, but I don't want any part of that. And so you better be careful what you pray for because God's going to give you your answer. And that's what happened. When he got to me, he said to me, how can I pray for you? And I said, I have epilepsy and, uh, and I want to be healed today. And he says, all right. He struck, stretched out his hands like this and he said, take my hands. And when I reached down and took his hands, it felt like a, a million volts went through my body and went out and hit this man and pushed him backwards. And there was a table behind him and he actually grabbed the table to keep from being pushed over the table. And then he got his composure and came back to me and says, now I don't want you to be afraid, but you have demons hanging all over you and we're going to get rid of them. And I says, go for it. So he says, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you demons to come out now. And they, I went into a grand mal seizure, not on the floor, because God honored my prayer, and I didn't fall down on the floor, but I stood up and began to shake violently. Uh, there's a scripture in the Bible that says that at the name of demons, at the name of Jesus, the demons tremble. Well, there should be a footnote, and that footnote should say, if they've got a hold of you, you're going to tremble too, because I began shaking violently. And he walked away and left me shaking. He moved on to the next person, and that person went down, and so on and so forth, all the way to the end of the line. And by the time he got down to the other end of the line, I started to calm down and no more shaking. And I said, oh, thank God, it's all over with. And I looked down at the end of the line and Dr. Evie's eyes caught mine and he smiled at me and he walked back up to me and he says, well, there's still a few more on there. So in Jesus' name, and again, I went into another grand mal seizure standing there. That was in March of 1983. Uh, I haven't had a seizure since. I haven't been on medication since. I actually went to the doctor and got a clean bill of health. And the doctor couldn't believe it because when I walked into this room, it was, it was the time for my, my checkup. I walked into the room and the doctor uh, looked at my chart and he says, how are you doing with your seizures? I said, I'm not having any. And he, he looked baffled and he, and he, he, he looked at the chart and, and uh, then he says, well, how are you doing with your medication? I said, well, I'm doing just fine with my medication. He goes, okay, because I've been having real problems with my seizures. They couldn't get them under control. Uh, they were having trouble finding the right medication for me. And so this actually baffled him because the medication hadn't been working before. And all of a sudden it seemed, appeared to him that it was working. So he looked at me and he actually said, are you Bill Stanley? Do I have the right file? I said, yes, that's me. He says, and you're not having any problems? I said, no, sir. And you're not having problems with your medication? I said, no, sir. In fact, I have to be honest with you. I'm not on my medications anymore. And he exploded. He was angry at me. He started yelling at me. Why did I stay, get off of my medications? And for those of you who receive healings, don't go off your medications until your doctor tells you you're healed, okay? But I did a stupid thing, and God, in his mercy, protected me uh, because I found out afterwards by stopping that it could have actually killed me. But God's greater than all of us, and he protected me. So the doctor immediately grabbed me and says, come on, down the hall, we're going to take some tests. And he hooked me up to all the machines, and he ran me through all these tests and uh, took me back into the room and said, wait here till we get these results done. And he came back in, and he looked at me baffled, and he says, I don't understand this because you don't have epilepsy anymore. I says, well, doc, I guess that's what you get for praying, isn't it? And, and he, didn't, he didn't know what to say. He was speechless. And he said, well, okay, I guess you can go. Uh, you don't have to come back anymore unless you start having problems with it again. I said, I'm not going to have any problems with it anymore. I said, I might come back and visit you because you're kind of a nice guy, but that's the only reason I would come back. And again, that was in 1983. Here it is, uh, 2008. I haven't had a seizure since. 
So our God is graceful. He's merciful. It says, by the stripes of Jesus Christ that we are healed. It says that God sent His Word and, and heals all of our diseases. I, I was one day asking God, I says, is it really your will to, have, to heal everybody? And I believe He said to me, I would not have taken the beating that I took, have taken if I wasn't serious about healing me. So right now, in Jesus' name, I speak to you who are watching this video, and I say to you by the stripes of Jesus Christ that you are healed. Receive your healing. There's someone who's having problems with heart, uh, um, and it looks horrible. But the, and the doctors is telling you that there's no hope. There's nothing they can do. Uh, they can't even repair the heart because it's so badly destroyed. But I'm telling you right now that Jesus is a name above all names, and the name of Jesus is above that, above, above, above that heart problem. So I speak to that heart in Jesus' name, and I command that heart to be new and whole and healthy in Jesus' name. There's somebody that's having a problem with their, their right leg, their knee, and the doctor's telling them that they need to have that knee replaced. I'm going to tell you right now, if you stand up in faith and run, I'm, don't, walk, don't walk, run from where you are. It's something that you haven't been able to do for a long time. God will meet you right now, and you will be healed completely. Lord, I, I praise you for your healing. I thank you, Lord, that you are touching many lives, even th those that I'm not even speaking right now. Lord, we're going to trust you for healing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks again.